Hello, welcome to the first advanced topic in the Get Monitoring series. Congratulations, you've made it this far, which means you know how Nagios XI works and you've been through all five steps of the configuration wizard process and you know how to do that. What we're gonna talk about in this video is the configuration wizard template that allows you to quickly add new elements to your monitoring after only doing two of the five steps. Here it comes. All right, so let's talk about configuration wizards generally. So here's a whole list of configuration wizards that we can use. This isn't even all of them. There are more in addition. You could get more with the Get More Wizards button up here. But every single wizard, no matter what it is, no matter what it's monitoring, has five steps. The configuration templates will automate the last three of those. So let's take a run through one configuration wizard and take a look at the steps and see how the templates relate to those steps. Okay, so here I have clicked on the network switch router configuration wizard and you can see that we're on step one. This is gonna be distinct to each one that you do. I'm gonna go right to, ne to the next step here, step two. So steps one and step two are different for every single different wizard, but then steps three, four, and five are basically the same and that's the stuff that we can automate when we use configuration templates. So here's step two on the network switch and router. Obviously this is gonna be unique to the specific device that you're configuring and we've got all the different ports and all the other sorts of things that we can do. What you see down here is, now I could either finish this with a template if one exists or I can go through the next steps. Now, so step three for every configuration wizard is the same. So the first one is, how are we gonna set up our configuration monitoring settings? So we're gonna check every five minutes, we're gonna recheck every one up to five times before we generate an alert. Step four, we're gonna set up notification. And step five, we're gonna be able to use groups so we can configure host groups, service groups, and we can do uh, parent-child relationship, all of that sort of stuff. Now here's what we can do. We went through all of those things. We could either save these as a template so that we can use it again. So if we were to save it as a template, then we can do this over here, um, or we can just apply these settings and not save them as a template. Uh, but again, like we said back in step two, we could have used a template if one were pre-configured. So let's look here on the left sidebar under Manage Templates. Here it is. It's the switch. I can use the pencil to edit it. Very, very simply done in here. Very simple. So switch is the title. You could add a description if you wanted. Uh, this is the toggle to make something a global template or not. Uh, admins have the ability to make things global templates, users do not. When it's a global template, anyone can use it. When it's not a global template, only the user that configured it can use it. So this one is a global template. When you click on the monitoring tab in editing the, te the template, here's what you'll notice. This is step three. If you go back to the previous videos that we did where we walked all the way through the steps, this is step three where we set up the check interval and the recheck interval. We click on the next tab. This is step four of the configuration wizard where we set who we're gonna notify and when and under what conditions. We click here and you'll see that we've got the host groups, you know, it's a member of the switch group. We got parent-child relationships. So steps three, four, and five are automated with the configuration template that's basically how they work. So configuration templates, a great way to save a ton of time when you're adding individual elements to groups or using templates that you've already configured. So say you've got a bunch of Windows workstations already configured, you add three new staff, you can get those configured right away, very quickly, and exactly the way you need to with configuration wizard templates. Stay tuned, we've got more advanced topics coming your way.